Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighter Graphics to deliver world class Bluebeam training and customization services so you can get the most out of your Bluebeam investment. I'll cover how to show and hide tools you may not even know exist, and then some tips on how to use them as well. So let's jump into Bluebeam here. And so what you're seeing here is uh, the Bluebeam interface, obviously. I have turned off in my profile uh, all of the tools and, uh, and all of that just to so we can focus on the panels over here. So in Bluebeam review, you'll notice on the side, depending on which profile you're in, um, I am in the review advanced, but I've again, I've modified my profile for this presentation, turned a bunch of stuff off and actually put all of my tools uh, panels on the left side here. When you open Bluebeam, you might see some of these tools on the left. You might see them over here on the right. Some of them you'll even see across the bottom. So for now, I stacked them all here. We're going to go through each one and show you what they're for, what they do. And then you can see here all the ones with the blue highlighted in blue. That means that they're turned on. So, so you can turn those on. Uh, if there's any of these that you don't use, you can also right click and just click on hide and it will turn that one off. Let's dive in and show you what these are all about. The next one here is our 3D model tree. And for that one, a lot of people don't realize that you can print a 3D PDF uh, out of programs like Revit, uh, different CAD software like that. You can use the Bluebeam plugins to print a 3D PDF. And that's what I have here. So you can spin our building, our home that we printed from Revit. And then in here, you can see a model tree of everything in the model, all the different pieces all the metadata that comes with it. Uh, this one is typically by default in the bottom. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to show you how to move these. Uh, again, show is going to turn those on. Hide will hide it. If I go to attach, I can send this to the bottom and it will come down here to the bottom panel. And then you can see all that metadata that comes over from Revit, all those individual model pieces. And when I click on them, Let's uh, try the dishwasher here. It will zoom in on that element in the model and hide everything that's or fade everything that's in front of it so that you can see um, see what that is. And then if you spin the model, it's going to spin about that element that you had selected. So if we select something else, we've got a cabinet up here, a raised shelf. And in these 3D PDFs, you can also um, select your uh, scope box, cut away so you can see plans, elevations, sections, all that type of thing in here um, with our 3D model. So you can see me cut that and show what's going on there. Great tool for modelers to print uh, a 3D model for uh, others that are maybe not allowed in Revit making changes, you can still show them what's going on in the 3D model so that they can uh, understand the constructability of the model. Thanks for joining us. I hope you guys took notes and enjoyed the detailed introduction to reviews tool panels. Reach out to Darren and his team at Brighter Graphics to learn more about additional licenses of Review Extreme or the small investment of upgrading your existing seats. And as always, if you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company, don't hesitate to reach out to our team as well.